Hi and welcome in Gazasoft channel. In this video, I share with you a full backend login project using Spring Boot. The steps will be as follow. First, we try to register a user using POST request. Second, the user receives a link to confirm his registration in the email for enabling the account. Third, the link will expire after 15 minutes and the account will be deleted automatically if the user doesn't activate his account within this period. Of course, I mean 15 minutes. In this course, you will cover Spring Boot Web, Spring Boot Security to Authenticate to User, GPIA, Java Persistent API. I show you just the result project, the full course and explained source, code parts created by Amigos YouTube channel. I will put the link below the video. Also, I share with you the link project because I did some changes. I used my SQL instead of Postgre. Before to move into testing part, let's take a look about the tools which we need. The tools which we need to test the projects, we need to install my SQL service. MailDev is a simple way to test your projects generated email during development created using Node.js. API testing tools, Rack Bean Freak Chrome extension, and finally we need GDK Java development kit from 11 version and higher. So let's take a look about the tools. I have MySQL service. So this is the extension which we need to test our API, Rack Bean HTTP clients. We need to install Node.js to test our mail. So this is the project for MailDev. We need these two commands to launch project. So let's move into MailDev path project. So I copy this path, open the CMD command line and type CD to go into this path. We need to write this command npm install or first you need to download Node.js and install it. In my case I have Node.js so this is it's a simple and easy way to do that. After you write this command type this command to run the project. So this is just to test if the user receive a mail in registration phase. So to launch mail dev, we write localhost 1080. Localhost 1080. So this is the mail dev. Also, we need to create a database with this name, Amigos Tutorial Login. So now let's test our login project. Open new CMD. And go into generated file. So this is the target. So this is the generated jar file. Copy this path. And go into this path. And to launch the project, we type this command java dash jar and the name of the jar file. So now the jar file lesson in this port. Let's take a look about database. So this table created automatically. So let's take a look about app user table. So this is the rows. So this is the column. So now let's test our post request. Go into important data about the project. So let's copy the registration link post request. 
so here change it into post and I copy this link and go into content and let's submit this body so this is the first name and last name and this is the email and this is the password so let's send this data into jar file and see what happened so here I receive a token so let's take a look about the tables so this is the table app user and here the status is zero this means doesn't click in the link which received in his email and this is the link which he received from to Omar and this is the body of the email and link will expired in 15 minutes and let's take a look about confirmation token table as we see he created at and this token means created this date and expired in this date this means after 15 minutes and this date plus 15 minutes we get this data and till now the user doesn't confirm his registration as we see here null and this token attributed into user with id 1 this is the id 1 so let's click in the activate now as we see here confirmed and let's take a look about the table and as we see here confirmed at this date so let's try to log in I copy this email and password and sign in as we see I received this page of course because I didn't mapped this URL into any page but the authentication step is work so let's try to register a new user let's put here Ali Ali and here Zeki and let's send this request as we see here mail dev I received new confirmation email so what's happen if I try to authenticate with this data before the user confirm his registration so let's look out and let's go into database here I have second user and the status it's not inactivate state confirmation token so let's try to authenticate with this data and see what happened and here password so as we see here user is disabled this means the user doesn't activate the account till now so after I click into activate account here confirm it and let's try to log in again and here password as we see the authentication part is work if the account is activated and I try to activate or I click into this link again I received this data the account already confirmed as we see here email already confirmed so let's take a scenario if I activate the account after 15 minutes passed so let's see what happened I close all this tab let's try to register new one Ahmed and here I put Ahmed and I leave the password like this let's send this request I received a token let's take 
a look about the database so this is this the third user and confirmation token which attributes into user with id 3 so let's try here expired at change this data so here i put 0 instead of 46 and let's save this data now when the user click in the active now so the token is expired let's see what happened so the result will be the token will deleted automatically also the user with the name Ahmed will delete it automatically because this user click into activate now after 15 minutes pass so let's do that and see what happened as we see here token expired and let's take a look about confirmation token as we see the third token deleted automatically and the user Ahmed also deleted automatically I wish the video will be helpful for you and I will put the link for the full explanation source code in the description part which points directly into YouTube link creator